Welcome back. It's a Wine Wednesday. Today, we are here with our good friend Mark Bozik, <laughs> the general manager from the Fed in Clarkson. Uh, thank you so much for coming in. We're talking about your spring wine dinner, but first, catch us up. What's going on at the Fed? Live music. Uh, great wine menu. Uh, great food menu as well, too. We're doing a lot of changes for spring. Um, patio opens in a couple of days as well, too, weather nice. permitting. Nice. So, Mark, yeah, where have you put the live music? Because it's such a cool, yeah. you know, the Fed, for people who don't know, it's an old bank. Yeah. And uh, yeah. just a really interesting building. Yeah, 100-year-old building, plus um, live music goes downstairs, mostly in the gold bar, which yeah. is kind of like a lounge area. We also do it outside on the patio during the summertime as well, too. Bike rack outside for when Dina and all her friends we ride can do that. Bike. Yeah, we can do that for sure. <laughs> Absolutely. to the so. restaurant. <laughs> yeah, yeah downtown nice. Clarkson is a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, it sure is. Well, what would you bring in for us today? Let's talk to us about some of this A couple wine. of offerings from the wine dinner that we're going to be doing on the 1st. Uh, I thought we would start lightest to heaviest. So. Great. Uh, blank Stare was not something that they released last year. This is a really beautiful Sauvignon Blanc. Um, I think that you're going to get a little bit of the citrus notes. You'll get a little bit of tropical in this wine as well, too. Um, and then all of a sudden, you'll get some white pe uh, pepper. So that's kind of where the Blank Stare comes from, in my opinion, where you're just kind of staring around and you're like, am I trying oh, yeah. this? What's this? Yeah. Oh, it's so, so good. I, I love Sauvignon know. Blanc. This is it's a good. great one. Sauvignon mm. Blanc. I was at a party once, and uh, mm. the, one of the women was looking for Sauvignon Blanc, and I go, oh, I didn't know that was becoming a thing. Yeah. I thought everyone drank, you know, Chardonnay or See, whatever. I don't, I, I'm not a Chardonnay person. I love Sauvignon Blanc. Yeah. I think this is the way to go. This is nice. That's nice and light. Yeah, really nice drink. opener. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's funny. Sorry. That was great. You've never heard that phrase before? No. That's what she said? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You'll have A couple sips us. of wine and there we go. So, yeah, for sure. Oh, we're all 12. <laughs> yeah. Um, so second offering, oh, um, we'll go into red. Slander's a lot of fun because for a Pinot Noir, 15% alcohol is pretty rare. So this is going to be like in your face. Uh, nice lighter fruits, uh, strawberry, raspberry. Mm, um, it is good. But you know the name kind of comes from uh, the alcohol content as well too. It's to really, really like a punch all of a sudden in this wine as well too. Is it higher it's alcohol nice. content? Yeah. So 15%, 15 15.4 for a Pinot is exceptionally high. Very, very high. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I didn't realize Pinots are typically lower alcohol. Typically, not always. Okay. But yep, yeah, always Especially lighter. Especially in as well. this case. Yep. Yeah. This is delicious. In this case, it's higher. Right. Yeah. Right. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, finally? And finally, um, I thought we'd uh, end up with a little bit heavier. So again, another 15%. You really taste the French oak in this wine as well, too. This is Palermo. Uh, Cabernet, um, Cabernet dominant, really, really heavy. Um, if blank stare was your white pepper, this is definitely your black pepper. So Ooh, really, really dark yeah. fruit. So Cassis is this yeah. really style? comes through. Oh. Yep. It's gorgeous. Is this better with a steak? Is that why? Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Very Absolutely. nice. My We're goodness. Good. Or you know, some of the uh, offerings that we have on the menu as well, okay. too. So the pot roast is something that we're going to be doing uh, for the wine dinner. That dish really kind of transplants you back to like a childhood memory mm. um, with how well the chefs have done that. We make our own pasta in-house. Um, we make our own pizza dough as well, too. The entire kitchen is a scratch kitchen. Chefs do an absolutely phenomenal job, um, and we're very lucky to be there. I don't know if you guys are used to this, but here in the studio, yeah. whenever there's wine, there's a little wine fairy who just kind of pops up. Do you have a situation like that? Just somebody who always uh, oh, yeah, is I see our, I see our, him. our wine fairy, I Charlie Langton. I, I, it's, I, yeah. Just pretending uh, to uh, we would love to uh, uh, find some glasses really uh, quickly. Uh, and uh, love uh, to have uh, him. He's saying, wrap it up. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Come on, say hi, Charlie. Uh, Charlie Come on hello. and say hi. Come Sniff around. Yeah. 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 We're happy to have you. So, yeah, you? good, good. My goodness. Yeah, great. I love this wine right here. Which one? Oh, you want the middle one? Papillon. Papillon? Yep. This one? Yeah. Papillon. Enjoy, well, Papillon. <laughs> Enjoy it, Charlie. Yeah. Right. He'll Enjoy take it. it. He's yeah. fine. Very good. I mean, just to take a little look. There we go. <laughs> While he's doing that, let me tell you, uh, you can visit the, the FedCommunity.com. <laughs> Learn more about uh, that spring wine dinner. Thank you so much. Thank you for having Appreciate me. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Come